Hey guys, Angel here, and guess what? I just bought a collection. And I'm going to pull this stuff out and open up the boxes and get into it in just a moment. All right, guys, I'm back. I got all these boxes taken out of the bin. But now I'm going to have to open up the boxes and show you what's inside. But I'm going to take a moment to say that they had like two other boxes just crammed full of stuff. But it's unfortunate that the, the other two boxes were pretty much just worth face value. So this is the stuff that was actually worth buying. You know, they see that uh, as seen on TV and... and they get the little pamphlets in the mail and it's like, oh, look at this great deal. When really all they're buying is the packaging because the packaging is worth more than the coins. So yeah, a lot of this stuff, we told them just to, to pop out of all the fancy packaging and take it to the bank and cash it in because it was worth really nothing more than face value. So let's get into this and see what cool stuff that was actually worth buying. Ooh. We got a colorized 1999 ASC. Maybe I should start with some of the big stuff so I can pile stuff up, up on top of it. We got the 2004 Keelboat Nickel Collection. It's got like a colorized one, then like a holographic one, a gold plated one, and then looks like just two regular ones. You're just paying extra for the, the fancy packaging and... But hey, at least it's something cool, you know, something cool. 137 years of the U.S. pennies. So we started out with the Indian head scent, and then they started up the wheat scent at 1909 to 1958. And then the coppers were 59 to 82, but I'm pretty sure all the earlier ones were copper too. And then they had the steel scent, 1911 to 1916 shell case scent. Hmm. That's something I'm going to have to look into. I've never heard that phrase before. And then 83 to present is the zinc scent. Lincoln Showcase. Well, <laughs> got this on it. So, yeah. This is... Yeah, that's the one. All right, I'm going to have to figure... I'm going to have to figure out what that showcase means. If you know what it means, let me know in the comments below. But, of course, I'm going to look it up for myself anyway, so. But, hey, obviously, you know something more than I do. And then we got a VF Peace Dollar, 1922. Yeah, 1922 is one of the most common dates. Let's see what's in this velvety box. All right, it's the P&D set. Set and finish. Sequagia. Ain't the year where they did the fancy backs. No, that's just the normal backs. I like I like it the year where they started with the fancy backs, where they did all the different like things on the back. Genuine legal tender. Love me tender, love me true. Do, 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 do. All right, here's a long box. Let's see what's a, let's see what's in this long box. Four different types. So in 2004, they came with uh, with four different type backs. They got the piece metal right here. They got the keelboat type. Then they got the buffalo and the ocean view. So these are all proof 70s. So that's kind of cool. What's next? What's next? Dun, 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 dun. What's next? What's next? Dun, 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 dun. I think this is just a bunch of like... Different currencies, man. We got the one yen. Got a red seal, two dollar. Oh, there's a there's a big old hole in that one. And then we have some of the green sealed. So it's just some some of it's circulated, some of it's not. So it's like crispier, crispier. And then we got some Canada. Actually, I think this one. It actually has the devil face. I don't know if you can see it. But there's like his eyes and his nose and his mouth. So this is 
what they would consider the devil face note. I don't know. Can you see it? Can you see the devil's face in her hair? I see it. So I'm pretty sure that's the devil face. Yeah, I can see, look, the hair's more smoother here. They smoothed it out because somebody was like, oh my goodness, the devil's face is in the queen's hair. So they switched it. They made it more smoother so it doesn't really look like anything. So that's pretty cool. And that's pretty cool that I actually know that and I could actually like point it out and see it for you. There's some Cinco Peso, 20 Peso. So 20 is 20, and this one has seen better days. It's holy, holy, holy. And Cinco is five. All right. So there's a couple cool currencies. Here's another one. Dun, dun, dun. So here's a couple red seals. Uh, I was like looking high, I almost thought I saw a star note. But this is kind of cool. It's the Lewis and Clark. So it's got the ocean, ocean view, gold plated. The bison nickel, gold plated. And then gold plated this one. And then the Sequagia. And then it has the 2003 mint state green seal. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I don't know. People probably, people, I was going to try to pull this out to see if I can see. Nope, I'm not going to do it. Here's like a newspaper. Here comes the redesigned nickel. So, yeah, the guy obviously saw a article about the new design nickel and he, and then he saw this and he's like, oh, I need to get this. Well, those are pretty cool. I don't think they ever actually made those. Coins would feature dead presidents. Gold pieces would honor the first ladies. So I don't know if they made these or not. If they did, I haven't seen them. Let's see what's in there. It looks like all nickels. So 2004 to 2005 Ultimate Nickel Collection. Which that's pretty cool. You know? Like, basically, you know, these ones would just be spendable. But wait, I think this is a real buffalo. Buffalo! Yeah, so there's a real, actual buffalo, 1935. It's not in bad shape. Let's check out. Most people check out to see. Well, it's not quite a full horn. There's the horn. That's what most people look for is the horn and the wear. But it's pretty cool. I like the little colorized ones, makes everything pop. And then the little holographic ones. You know, I'm not too into like these ones or the gold plated ones, but the colorized ones and the holographic ones are cool. And it's kind of cool that they just threw like an old buffalo in there. But these are the current buffaloes. So it's kind of cool they put the old buffalo in there. I was like, wait a minute. So you can see the difference. The buffalo is actually standing. Facing a different way, and it's got like the the ground. Pretty cool. Let's see what's in this one. All right, it's another nickel set. And it's got a couple holograms. So it's just another nickel set, holograms and colorized. So we got two cool nickel sets. All right, this must be some more nickels. So it says Lewis and Clark, so I'm pretty sure this is just like the Lewis and Clark nickels. Yep, it's got the four different the four different designs on the Lewis and Clark. All right, here's some fancier. It's fancy. It's a fancy smancy. It's a wooden box. What do you think's inside this wooden box? Some holographic quarters. As you can see, they like the rainbow. The rainbow and the holographicness. Taste the rainbow. The front side is probably the only side that's got the rainbow stuff. Yep. And then we got more nickels. This is the Ocean View nickels. Another fancy smancy box with some holographic quarters. Statehood quarter colorized. And it's got some kind of like plexi right there. But like I'm saying, 
somebody, I don't know how much it costs to put the holograph on there. I mean, it's cool and everything, but the, the guy probably paid pretty much for the box. Oh, this comes up so you can grab that out. Woo! But basically, when you buy this stuff, you're paying for the box, not the coins. So I got some, okay, gold edition. So it's probably just gold-plated, gold-plated steak quarters. Was my guess. Yep, we got some gold-plated steak quarters. Another Sacagawea set. Let's see what's in this big box. It's like too big for my hands almost. Susan B. Anthony set. And it's got a colorized one. 79. It's just saying, these are all Thunder Coins. But what's the years? 79, 79, 79. Oh, there's a proof. You can tell the difference between the proof. 79, 80, and 81. And then they put in the 99s, and then they colorized a 79. So that's the full Susan B. set. Yes, it's, it's the P, D, S, and then S proof. So they had double S's that year. They had an S proof and a regular S. So I'm kind of thinking that this is probably the same thing. It is, except for, look, this one has the 99 colorized. So they're, they're all pretty much the same thing, except for the colorized one is different. All right, I got one more ginormous box. I'll put that one back there. What is it? History of America. All right, let's see what the History of America has inside. All right, so it's got some cool little things in here. The right to vote. So it says 999. But let's look at one of these cards. So it's 20 grams of 999 silver. So they're 40 millimeters. So they're the size of a silver eagle. But there's only 20 grams of pure silver in here. So these are all 20 gram silvers. History of America. Articles of Confederation. George Washington's inauguration. Got the Rushmore. First Con Continental Congress. Battle of Lexington. And the history of the Monroe Doctrine. So they all have certificates. I'll make sure to put them with the right certificates. Here's something. Mexico! 1986. It's the Olympics. It says D football. So it's probably like soccer. At first I thought it was like volleyball, but football is what we consider soccer. And I looked this up and this is like sterling. So this is sterling silver. All right. We got another painted eagle, 2004. And I'm pretty sure it's only painted on the one side. Got some other little boxes. Oh, I believe this is probably a Susan B. Yep, Susan B. Proof Susan B. Yeah, because I think this is the only thing that's been in those kind of boxes. And it's a Missouri quarter. I don't know if it's silver. Yep, it's silver. You don't see no copper in there, so it's a silver proof quarter. Trying to get all these little small ones first. Got another box. It's a 21 painted Morgan. I know some people don't like them, but I like them. Because it makes it pop. Oh, and it's colored on both sides. So I like them when they're colored on both sides. Makes it pop. Lollipop. Lollipop, 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 Looks like it has something in his hair. So it's like a copy. It's a copy of a quarter. Why would they have a copy of a quarter? 
It's a copy of a Delaware Quarter. It says copy. Copy in his hair. I'm not sure if that's silver or not. So these are both copies. I'm trying to look on it and see if it says anything. Oh, it says something on the side. I took it out so I could see. It says 999 fine silver. So it's some kind of fine silver. And it's like a replica of a quarter. Which, I guess if they wanted to make it in fine silver, that's understandable. So we got a VG 1882. Oh, 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 it's magic, you know. My favorite mint mark is oh, oh, oh. All right, it's another fancy smancy box where the box is probably worth more than the coins. All right, it's another nickel set. Nickel set. Nickel, nickel set, nickel, nickel set. Well, here's some nickel sets. So I wonder if this is also just a nickel set. Let's find out. Oh, nope, it's a quarter set. So it's first day issue of the quarters. They're not silver, because it doesn't say silver. And it says, these quarters are real, man. Now here's a big old chunky box. And it looks like more Westward Journey nickels. Okay, yeah, this, this is like a little box that has the, the nickels. Oh, this is like the PDS. Okay, PDS. Oh, PDS. PDS. And PDS. I have three more boxes. Can you guess what's in the box? Oh, this box. This box has seen better days. It's broken. But it's a 2002 painted. Well, so much for that box. That box is broken. Alright, so we got two more. And I already checked out the other ones, so they're copy. It's got a copy on the head, but these are pure silver. It's probably like a quarter ounce, since it's a quarter. But I'll have to weigh them and find out. And last but not least, focus. We got the PD Roll Westward Journey series, and it looks like they're the Ocean View. And this is what you could buy from the U.S. Mint. All right, folks, that's it for the collection that I bought. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know which one that you like the best. Just give us a little comment right down there below. Let me know what you think about it. And maybe give us a little likey likey to help that YouTube food algorithm stuff. And until next time, I will see you out there. Bye-bye.